Hi friends, in this video, I am going to show you the step-by-step -step process of creating this beautiful art piece known as Relief Art Ceramic Cone Work. I need three things from you. Patience, patience and patience. Thank you very much. So let's get started. This is step number one, making the base. We are preparing the base with the help of uh, this mixture, which is made up of three components, plaster of Paris, water and fevicol, the ratio of which is given in the description box. I'm spreading it on the wooden board with the help of this iron sheet. This wooden board measures 16 by 24 inches. So spread it evenly with that thin iron sheet all over and once it is dried this is the second layer I am doing and this is not a mandatory step at all it's just that I needed a fine base so I went for the second coat this is not mandatory you can skip it so after the second coat is done before it dries just even out uh, with the help of uh, water just spread it like this to remove any uneven parts on it so once it is dried out this is step number two coloring the base I have used acrylic color this is ultramarine acrylic color and I am spreading it all over the base you can choose your own base color just leave it to dry for some time maybe 15 to 20 minutes step number three drawing the design or tracing the design see it is completely your choice if you are very confident about your uh, freehand drawing go for it otherwise trace it now for step number four that is the outline the whole design with ceramic cone we need to prepare the mixture for the cone so here I've taken nine spoons of ceramic powder I'll be adding three spoons of fevicol to it and then I will add some water little by little to get the desired consistency now for the consistency of this cone for outlining the design we have to make sure that it is not too flowy it should be thick consistency and here step by step add water mix it well this mixing part is again very important because if there are any lumps left and you pour the mixture in the cone just like that without removing the lumps you will have a hard time working with the cone so here I am adding a drop of acrylic yellow acrylic color because I wanted a cream colored paste so mix it mix it mix it well remove all the lumps and then pour it in the cone once it is done now this this is the kind of consistency I was talking about thick consistency now pour it in the cone in a way that your edges are safe it should not spoil the edges pour it from a distance and your edges will remain clean now here we start with the step number four outline the design with ceramic cone this is step number four use the cone just glide it through the design and if you are not very sure of your um, of the way you uh, handle the cone make sure you go very slow with the design now this is the kind of consistency which we need for our step number five that is filling the design we I have added just one spoon extra in the previous uh, consistency and it gives a little flowy consistency that's it so here you are filling the design Please make sure that it runs through the cone smoothly and you don't 
cross the boundaries, don't cross the outline. If it overflows, the whole project gets messy and half of the time you rectif keep rectifying your mistakes. So we have to save our time. At the same time, we have to make sure that our work is flawless and smooth. Now this is um, what I was telling you about. If your mixture is mixed very well, mixed properly, there are no lumps and you pour it properly into the cone without messing up the edges, you will have a very smooth uh, process of working with the cone. And another rule, don't fill the cone till the neck. Leave some space to, for the cone to be folded from the top. In fact, fill it half only, not more than that. Otherwise, if you squeeze it, your mixture will manage to come out of it and it will spoil your hands. And you will start dis disliking this cone work. So, basic rules. Now, this is how our project looks. Here I have completed the cone part, the outline part, the cone work. Now here, when everything is dried up, the outline, the filling and everything, here you can experiment with a second part of outline. This is step number six, outline part two. I have added some more details to the peacock, some more designs and patterns. Similarly, you can add more patterns to your project. Here you can just test your creativity, enhance the beauty of the design. And now for step number seven, these are the colors I have used. This is very acrylic colors. I have chosen a dark base. I have um, you know chosen light colors for the design now coloring again is really very important you have to do justice with the base you have chosen for this you know I have used light colors on the design because my base is dark and here there's a very important thing the shading part Shading here plays a very important role in test. It not only enhances the beauty of our project, but also gives a uh, you know, realistic 3D effect. You can see I'm, I've added some dark color to the base of these birds. This is red. Now, after this, I am going to add a little bit of white color to give a pink tone to some parts of the birds now this will look really beautiful once the step number seven is completed light blue color the base of the flower is light blue so I am adding dark blue uh, shading now in the entire process of coloring painting outline filling the base gets messy so this is the time just cover up the flaws give a finishing touch to the base in fact you would have to do it everywhere after that you'll realize how beautiful the entire project looks so clean up the base and this is how the entire painting looks during the process of coloring Now we are moving to our last step 
actually this is not the last step this is the second last step step number eight where this is outline with the cone and this is outline part three here as you can see you still have some scope to add more details to your designs now here we will highlight our basic outline this is actually a very interesting sub, uh, you know step it will enhance it will rather highlight the entire project all the patterns and the de designs everything will look so realistic don't forget the basic rule go slow cone work is very intricate work so be patient and go slow for the outline we should have a thick consistency and for filling part we can add one extra spoon of water to the paste to have a little flowy consistency as compared to the consistency we need for the outline work because if our consistency is too flowy for the outline work our paste won't stay on the edges it will flow away This is how our entire project looks like. You still have some more scope to add little more detailing to the design in case you feel like you can add it here. I am doing the internal patterns of the flower. After that, I will be doing the external petals. See how beautiful it looks now. This is touch wood varnish but this starts our last step step number nine a coat of varnish i do it with the help of a sponge just rub it all over the surface on the edges and you will see that your project is getting a fine glossy finish it not only gives a glossy finish but it also adds a protective layer to it some people prefer brush uh, I prefer sponge but please make sure your painting is completely dried before you start working with the varnish so leave it to dry for at least two hours before you start it cover all the parts with the sponge and you will see how beautiful your painting looks after the varnish keep it under the Sun for at least two hours to dry but be careful this time, keep it at a place where it does not catch any dust or other particles because at this time your project, your painting is too sticky and anything that comes in contact with it will stick to it and the painting will get spoiled. See how beautiful it looks. Please feel free to contact me for any queries. Post your queries here and I'll answer them. With little creativity and patience you can do it kindly subscribe to my channel I'll be sharing some really interesting artworks with detailed description I'm also available on Facebook with the same ID unique arts please go through my page to have a close look at the kind of work I am into your feedback and your comments are very valuable so take care bye bye